Hey you guys, how you doing? Marcos here, just checking it out again. And uh, like I said, I was gonna review this thing right here, and here it is, Lego. Uh, like I said, I never do Legos, so bear with me here. I think uh, if you do it, you're gonna have a pretty good time. Uh, maybe, right? Uh, it is Legos. So uh, I did want to do a speed lapse of this. Good luck to myself, and good luck to you for watching. It's gonna be difficult, I know that. Opening this up for the first time, I knew there was going to be a bunch of bags in here. I mean, this thing, it's got five vans. Man, it's going to be ridiculous. And I knew I'm biting off more than I can chew, but, you know, uh, my boss, Kelly, she's, she's awesome. She bought it for me, and I, I couldn't wait to get it in my hands when she showed me the picture of it. Look at all these bags. Oh, would you look at this. It's ridiculous. I know, you know, you guys over there, I'm happy. Bag number 11, bag number 7. I'm gonna lay them all out. I'm gonna lay them all out and I'm gonna get back to you in a second. Alright, so, anyways, you guys, I don't know if you guys know about editing and shit, but um, my son is doing this for me and he's like, uh, there's a lot of editing involved. Um, like, we've been standing here for a half an hour and I pulled the box twice. Hit all the money. But look, check it out. There's so many bags here. You can see some of them right here, but they go all the way over to here and they're numbered. One to 16. That's freaking crazy. I don't know if we're gonna do like a four or five or 25 videos on this, but uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get through it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do and I haven't done yet is uh, slice this guy open here to check out the um, uh, booklet, which I'm sure is just, that's a freaking book. That's a book. Uh, but you got your yellow line and you got your blue line. My favorite, black line, the red line, the green line, Pidge's line now. Pidge is a girl in some, and Pidge is a boy in others. And then you also get the uh, stickers. I never was a personal fan of the stickers of the one, two, three, four, five, because it kind of like uh, makes them like a toy. Um, bag number one down in the box. Now, the only thing I can do here is uh, read instructions. Now, like I said, it's gonna be a time lapse. I have no clue what I'm getting into. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, so that was a venture. 
Uh, I know that um, I'm wearing the same shirt. It was like two days ago when I did that first, and it just happened to be that I did the wash the other day, and I had grabbed the same shirt today. But these are the lines. Um, ridiculous. I give it, I give props to every Lego guy out there, or girl, whatever, um, and especially Lego company. I, I can't believe how they can come up with all, I mean, it's, it's crazy. If ever you've done Lego, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, and you choose this to be your first one, Good luck, have fun. I didn't get frustrated at all. Um, I'm pretty patient as a person. And uh, you know, I think that helps. You just have to just go through with it. But the biggest key for me was organizing everything and then um, grabbing from that stockpile of organization and you're just flipping pages, flipping pages. And every page that you come to on these is perfectly put out. It's perfect, I, I had no problem with it. Now, this guy right here took three and a half hours just for him and I didn't stop. Like I went nonstop through it. These guys took an hour and a half a piece, probably about an hour and 20 minutes a piece. And these guys right here uh, were more simple of course because they were only uh, you know, so small. Um, the sword and the shield were about 15 minutes a piece. Uh, once I did all these, I, mean, I flew through these. Anyway, very, very good. Uh, no articulation, you guys. It's just the uh, mouth opens up and down. The black line can like kind of do like that. And these, of course, flip back, you know, for Voltron and that kind of thing. Their tails do move and wag. Uh, like, say, this guy right here. Um, their, their legs do go back and forth, that kind of thing. But the only thing about Lego is, even when you're a kid, remember you build something? stuff falls apart. So the more you like play with it, it's not a toy, like, and you probably already know that. Now once you build this thing, it goes up on your shelf or it's done. You can't build a car out of this, you can't build anything else, it's just Voltron, obviously, right? Well, if anybody's buying it for their kid, awesome. Uh, however your kid is with Legos, I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but um, you know, there's a lot of kids out there that dig Legos, and they could probably go through this twice as fast as I did. I, that's cool, I commend them for that, that's, that's awesome. These guys right here, because they're the arms, of course, uh, they can go like like this and, and all the ball joints and everything are fairly tight when I put them in into the sockets and whatnot uh, he, he moves he's, he's pretty good and he's not all floppy and as soon as I picked him up stuff wasn't just falling off so that was my thing with Lego uh, like a long time ago we built a jet with my son and uh, as soon as you transport this across the room the wing would fall off and shatter and you're like no you know that didn't happen with this uh, I'm very lucky to have it like that so what I'm gonna do now is basically put them together, but because there's a little bit of finicky stuff, I'm gonna do it in time lapse. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, so this guy right here stands bow. I'm gonna go to tip. I always, yeah, it's like the head. Well, anyway, to the head, he's um, 16 exactly. And over here to the fin is about just under 18. So that's pretty cool. Now in, in the bag, like uh, I swear, I, I used every single piece, but those are all the pieces that are left over. Um, the sword is awesome. It looks pretty good. There's a lot of silver on it. They did pretty good with that. In order to put it into one of the hands, you have to um, just disassemble it down here, like kind of like reinsert it like that. And the shield was probably the most fun. It went together pretty quick and it's got a lot of the silver paint all over it. Pretty cool figure. I like it a lot. I'm gonna go get my uh, Bandai Sola Chugokin GX71. I'll be right back. Now this guy right here in size comparison, only because it seems like everybody likes size comparison. I, I do, I think it's cool. I wish sometimes guys would like size comparison exactly what I have, but sometimes they have like other stuff and I'm like, I don't have that. So I can't tell what size is, but this guy right here, if you don't have it, get him like I was saying uh, in the previous video. He's awesome, now, this guy can do everything. But this is him in front of him. And he's, I, this guy's probably, he's gotta be at least four pounds. I don't know, I never weighed him, but he's heavy. And this guy right here is probably just as heavy and it's all plastic, 100% plastic, no metal at all. This guy's all metal, but he's pretty sick. Anyway, this guy is probably my second favorite Voltron now in my collection, excuse me, only because I got to build him. Now, I would never go out and buy this. It's Lego and just the uh, amount of uh, Lego pieces I saw in the box is like 2,300. I would never buy that for myself, but because my boss, she um, she bought this for me and I thought that was super cool and I wanted to hurry up and build it, you know, and do all the time-lapse stuff. I, I like it. It's great. Good job. Thanks for coming in. God bless.